all right what's up you guys so um i had a question asked about realistically how much do people actually work while in pa school so i wanted to answer that because i made that video like a long time ago about somebody working in pa school so if that's something that you're interested in or you feel like to actually like pay for pa school and make it through you're gonna need to work this video is for you so let's get into the video right now what's up you guys it's Adana. welcome back to my channel so like i said had this question asked um just a, a few days ago about how realistically is it for people like realistically how many hours do they work while in pa school and um before i get into that i just want to hit a few things first like so first things first like guys wash your hands keep your mask on do all those things because there is like a gi bug going on um and you know everybody's getting sick and so i don't want anybody to get sick my daughter wasn't feeling well my friend's not feeling well like the school has a little outbreak so if you have kids be careful wash your hands keep them safe that was my first little thing secondly if you didn't see my short we have a film coming out so be sure to head on over to fandango or the perfect movie so be sure to head on over to fandango or the perfect christmas movie um this week so that you can buy your tickets for the perfect christmas which is a movie that my husband um did and both of us produced um and it's a family friendly christmas movie and it's coming out this friday um and it will be in regal theaters and some other theaters you just have to go to our website to like type in your zip code so you can see the closest theater to you i know it's so exciting i don't usually like talk about things like this with you guys like most of the time you know i try to keep it pa related but this is exciting stuff so i wanted to share that with you now how realistically or how many hours do people actually work in PA school? So um, the ones that I knew worked about like 20 or so hours a week, okay? Um, 20, 24, like they kept it just at the PRN mark. So I don't know if that is like realistic for you. Um, for me, I guess maybe if I didn't have any kids, 20 hours a week would have been fine because I probably, <laughs> you know, spent greater than that, like taking care of my kids, cooking, all doing all of those things. And so like if I only had myself to take care of, um, then yeah, maybe 20 hours a week spent doing other things would be realistic. But that is generally speaking, like what um, the students that I knew that were in PA school worked. Now, I did have a conversation with somebody else. Um, she was going to PA school before me and she like had already graduated and became a PA, but she worked like 40 hours on the weekends. Um, and that was because she had a family that she had to take care of if she was like the sole provider. So she couldn't afford to give up her job um, as a nurse to then like go to PA school and not have any income at all. So uh, just looking at your own um, like dynamic in terms of how your makeup is, like if you have a family you have to take up, if, if take care of, if you really cannot like realistically stop working, um, you're gonna have to like kind of source it out and see exactly like what PA school's rigor is for you, like how much time you have to dedicate and devote to it. Um, and maybe during that time period, take like some PTO so that you can get like a true assessment of just going to PA school without working. And then if you feel like it's manageable, then obviously, you know, work your 20 hours or your 30 or your 40, if that is <laughs> what works for you. But that is what she did, um, and that's what some of the other students did. So uh, I think it's really just a matter of what works best for you. So you're just gonna have to kind of source it out. But realistically, I would say probably like 20 hours just to keep your part-time um, like PRN um, status. All right, if you have any other questions for me, leave them in the comment section below. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and don't forget to go to theperfectchristmasmovie.com to buy your tickets for The Perfect Christmas. Um, thank you guys so much for watching and supporting and following me on this journey. I will talk to you guys next time. Bye!